The application server demo on the grid page shows examples of all the common grid layouts and various options. If we open up the grid layouts, we can look at the various layout types. This option shows the most common basic layout types. You'll notice on almost all the pages and all, all the components there is a small help icon. This will open up help about the particular component, giving the component name and some information about it. To the left we have a tabular grid. This is similar to a desktop browse. This particular grid includes multiple rows, in this case 20 rows, and is designed to edit row on demand. If we click on the little edit icon to the left, it changes the row from a view only record to an editable record. Additional icons exist so we can cancel edit mode or we can actually delete the record. To the right we have two different types of columnar grids. These are similar to a desktop form. The standard columnar grid has the labels to the left of the various fields. In this particular grid we're using a merge section to combine the fields for city, state, and zip and we're also using some other formats to combine first name, last name. This particular grid shows one record. To the bottom we see a modification of that called a stack columnar. The only real difference here is we've moved the labels to above the various fields. In this particular case we've used a freeform region to combine city, state, and zip, which is a different way to achieve the same thing. We have also replaced all the toolbar buttons with action buttons, which use icons instead of text buttons. We can go to the detail views, and the first one we'll look at is a detail and grid. In this particular case, we're using a tabular component, and we're showing all the detail in a separate uh, component shown in the grid. In this case, we can click on the hyperlink for each row. This opens up a detail view, which is inserted within the grid underneath that particular row. We can move through the grid and show additional records. We can also put the detail on the page. In this particular case, we have hidden the grid until we have entered a search criteria. So we'll hit enter A and we will search for that. And we will find all the records that have A in the name or company name. In this particular case, we can um, look at the grid. We have a couple different features on this grid. We have called query by expression. So in addition to the search at the top, we can open up a small uh, editable region in which we can type in various information such as a company name and find various ways of searching for that company name. If we want to look at the detail view, in this particular case we simply click on a row and this opens up the detail view below the complete grid. So as we, we can either click on another row to see another record or we can use the navigation icons to search through all the records in the grid. In this particular case, the component template could be edited to move the detail to the left, the right, or above the grid. In this case, we're showing below the grid. We can also open up the detail view in a window. In this particular case, we've used a search section that is a freeform section, and we've replaced the buttons for search and cancel with icons. The grid also has a query by expression, like the similar one. In this particular case, we wish to see detail. We just simply double click on a row. This opens up the detail view in a modal window. Therefore we can edit the detail in here. We can also navigate from record to record again with the arrow buttons. In this particular case because we're opening on a modal window we cannot edit the grid underneath. We can also do what's called a modeless window and we can also add something called prefetch. In this particular case, we're using a columnar type grid, but we're using repeating columns to cause the records to go across the page and then down in additional records. In this particular case, we have a toolbar at the top of the grid and also at the bottom of the grid. The images here are fetched when the grid first opens. We can click on a name or on an actual image to open up the detail. This is a modal window, which means the grid underneath is still accessible. For instance, we can click on a different image and see a different image. Because the images are already fetched, we can go through the images very quickly.